Hello and welcome to this video where I will be testing the biome blending released in the latest snapshot for 1.18 21w43a and basically Mojang are starting to introduce the new world changes so the adjustment of the world height and basically the change that will happen in the world generation and they have introduced the way that they're going to transform an old world to a new one or basically better mix them together aka the blending part. So I have here a world in 1.17.1 and I want to test this blending uh, functionality, especially with an area like this. We have a desert biome combining with a plains biome, combining with a swamp, combining with a forest, combining with an ocean. So I kind of want to just cut it off at some of these areas right here and well basically just see how it works. So what I've got to do is I've got to cut off anything outside of this area right here and we're going to see how it actually transitions. Now I should say that this is the first iteration, the first implementation, the very first release that Mojang is making of this and it is subject to change for sure and for bugs to be fixed and whatnot. So what we see here is the rough outline for what it will be. So I just wanted to make that clear because there will be bugs and whatnot and the things that are imperfect but Mojang is on it. But with that, let us now exit the world, delete the chunks, and load up in the latest snapshot. Alright, just to show you how I'm going to do this, I'm using MCA Selector 1.16.3, and I'm basically going to use this to delete the chunks around this general area. I think it would be cool actually to chop it off in the middle of the mountain right here to see how it's actually going to do this. So all I gotta do is select and then selection, delete selected chunks, so control D basically. Boom. That part of the world has now been chopped off and I'm going to do this as well right at the edge of the swamp. Let's see how well this actually gets transitioned. There we go and I'm gonna do it right between here as well. I know this is pretty much a, a very rough test for uh, this right here but you could have in the middle of a river, parts of it generated from the old version and then you come to explore this area and new generation is uh, is created. And just to make it even clearer to see for the test, I'm going to delete this part of the desert as well. So this is all we have left now and all I got to do is go file and I think it's actually automatically saved. Yep, saves automatically. Let's quit this and let's load back into Minecraft in the latest snapshot. All right, we are now loading up the world. First thing I notice is this looks different. This right here. I don't remember or recall seeing this darker green outline appear when it's loading the world like this. But anyways, that's just a minor detail. That's not what we're here to see. We're here to see how the world is actually going to perform. All right, letting all the chunks generate. This part is going to be very interesting right here. You can see that area right there is where it's generating new, where the desert has been chopped off. All right, so this is interesting. I have a 16 render distance and my frames go down to 20. That's unusual. All right, I don't quite have 60 FPS, but I lowered the chunks down to 12, but we should still be able to see the area. So let's move on to the swamp over here, which is the one that I might be most interested in. So. You can see how the water here basically has been cut off and changes into a different water. So you can see it's quite obvious where the cut has been made. Now this is obviously something that will be fixed, but I like how it has blended it with the water. So it's actually continuing the river down and looks like we have an underwater ravine in the middle of everything. But well, that's interesting, but this, this cut right here is pretty good. I like how it has continued the water, like I said. Um, it could be smoother though, where it has been cut also here. It looks like a cave has just been, yeah, pre pretty much chopped up in half. <laughs> Whoops, some floating leaves. All right, so we're continuing down here where this island, I believe this island was there before. Well, some of it anyway. It was chopped off by half, but it was actually continued by the new uh, generation here. So if I go like this, you can see the chunk border. So this is a chunk. This is basically a new chunk. This is the old chunk. This is the new one. So it has actually completed the island right here and made sure it wasn't just chopped off. I really am quite impressed with the way Mojang has actually managed to do this. 
Um, and this as well. This before was a river, and it does look chopped off right, like right there. But other than that, they have actually managed to make it so that it, it's still a river, basically. By the way, when I say they, I do mean Mojang, but the blending system, I should say the blending system, because this is obviously algorithm or AI or something. That, the, the math. Yeah, we can't see how the trees here have been cut off, but if we ignore the trees for now, and primarily look at the terrain, I actually quite like how it's looking. Because it was chopped here as well, right here, but you, I couldn't even tell like what was cut here, except for the trees, obviously. Um, I, I quite like this, actually. Now, this is quite a straight line for a new biome to start off at there as well. But with that set, though, it is still transitioning and l leveling the like the ground. So this was a this Y level and moving over to this level. It, it basically keeps the Y level and makes it look natural. And I love that. I'm not quite sure what is happening here. So we have some water area transitioning into... Eh? I'm not sure if this is meant to happen. Like I have a little cave area down here. <laughs> Or if that's... I mean, it looks cool. I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know if it's meant to be there. Now, the rest of this is just water, basically. Um, you can see as well, it's quite a um, quite a rough cut right here, transitioning from dirt and sand directly to gravel. But I want to see the mountain area, because I believe I cut it off... Hmm. Right there, I think. Yeah, this looks like the area where I made the cut, also judging by the biome blend, blend right there. And technically we should be able to see it in the water, maybe? Unless this was gravel as well. Hmm, I think I found it. Right here. Yeah, I think this is where it has been trying to blend it together. But it's done it pretty seamlessly, not gonna lie. Like, you can kind of see that there. But I th it's hard to tell. But it does look like something has happened here. But I remember the area. I believe this whole thing was like a mountain area. And it's transitioned right here into a birch forest. So that's not bad. So we have birch forest right here. And then we have windswept hills. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much the transition right there. That's pretty seamless, you know. You can definitely tell underwater where the cut has been made. But overall, looking at this, so this is, this is going to be my overall score. I am very, very impressed considering this is the first, like, edition released in a snapshot of the biome blending mechanics. And I'm excited for it. I think, personally, if they just manage to maybe smoothen out like the watercolors, as well as the transition with underwater blocks, pretty much like they do with the biomes. And maybe make it a little bit less... I don't know how it would be done, honestly. But less of a line and more natural looking, maybe? But even so, this is looking good. So I would say, overall, transitioning from your 1.17 to 1.18 world... It's gonna be a success when the version has been released. I wouldn't say do it now. Don't transition your 1.17.1 world just yet. Wait for the mechanic to actually finish. Um, otherwise, you may get imperfections like the stuff in the water. Or in general, there could be some bugs that we haven't seen yet. Plus some occasional floating trees. But yeah, with that said, that was just me pretty much checking out the new blending uh, mechanics in Minecraft Snapshot 21W43A. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like as it does help me out. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications as well to get notified when I upload. But anyways, that's it. If you would like me to cover more stuff from the snapshots, do let me know down below in the comments and I might consider it. But anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm excited for 1.18. And I think transitioning from 1.17 to 1.18 is going to be pretty seamless. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.